Hi, in this video I'll go through the top three LED high bay fails and how to avoid them. Watching this video will help you save maximum amount of energy on your site and avoid to buy LED high bays that fails after two to three years. I'm Dan Lauritsen from Polaris and I'm gonna walk you through the top three LED high bay fails and how to avoid them. Now, number one is the lumen per watt. This is the energy efficiency of the LED lights and the LED chips. And a lot of people, they sell LED high bays that have only got an energy efficiency of between 100 and 130 lumen per watt. However, you can get all the way up to 185 lumen per watt. This LED high bay, our PSUFO Mark Max, gets to 185 lumen per watt. Now, if you look at that, that's 50% more energy saving than you would get if you were just using fittings with 130 lumen per watt. And the ratio of lumen per watt is obtained by adding more chips and better quality chips. So what you want to look out for when you buy LED high base is what is the energy efficiency? What is the lumen per watt? And you definitely should not go below 150 lumen per watt. Try to get as close as you can to the 185 lumen per watt. The second thing I want to go through with you is the driver quality in the LED high bay. So what most people don't know is that the most expensive component in an LED high bay, like this one, is the driver. And that can be up to 50% of the total cost of the fitting if you use a high quality driver. Now, a lot of manufacturers, they use low quality drivers because that's really cheap and they can then sell them at a really cheap price. Well, guess what? They will only last between two and three years. And if you look at the fine print of the, the spec sheets of these fittings, you'll see that they only guarantee you two to three years warranty. Now imagine that you spend all of that money on buying them, on taking two men and lifter and installing them up in 10 meters height and then they'll be failing within two to three years. Now, what we recommend to use is a high quality, minimum five year warranty drivers. Usually we would be using and recommending either Philips drivers or Invertronic drivers or Meanwheel drivers. All of these are great components to use and they will give you not just five years, maybe seven years, maybe even 10 years, depending on how you use them. So really, if you need to find out how long time are your high bays gonna last, you wanna look out for the high quality drivers and make sure that this is a part of the package that you buy. Now the third and probably most important part on buying LED high bays is to find out whether you can use sensors. Now, sensors are really important and it drives up the energy efficiency and it lowers down your maintenance costs and helps the lifetime of the fittings to last longer. Now, you'll see on this fitting, the PSUFO Max, we have the sensors built into the center of the fitting. This is a really easy way to mount them, but other companies have them mounted on the side of the fittings and there are three types of sensors to use and uh, we recommend to use however, whichever works best for your site. So if you uh, have got a warehouse and you've got racking and you've got forklift driving in and out um, and sometimes these aisles, they're empty. Well, then you should use movement sensors in those aisles because whenever there is no movement in the aisles, then these sensors will dim down the high base and turn them off. That way, the fittings will save a lot of more energy 
and last a lot longer. The other thing you can do is if you've got skylights and you've got natural light coming in from uh, above, then you can use daylight sensors. Basically, whenever the sun is shining, the sensors will sense this and they will dim down the fitting so that you always maintain high lux levels. But whenever the sun is shining, you won't be using the, the, the fittings to light up the, the, the site. You'll just be using natural light. Some sites have got up to 30% of their roof covered by skylights. And that is massive savings in the summertime when you've got, what, 14 hours or 15 hours of daylight. So that is one thing that you really want to look out for. The last thing is you can get combination sensors, which has got, like this one, both got the motion sensors and the daylight sensors in. And on top of that has got a, a, a remote control to control it all. Now, this is pretty neat because first of all, you don't need to get a lifter and go all the way up to, to, to your high bay in order to make any changes to the sensors. If you feel like the sensors are turning on or turning off too quickly, then you can change the standby, uh, standby period. The other thing that you can do with a remote control like this is actually you can dim down the, uh, the lights. So basically, if you install these, you would probably have, say, 400 lux in your warehouse. But in reality, you probably just need 300 lux. So basically, what you could do is you can go over underneath the, the, the high bay with the remote control and you can dim down the lights 20% until you reach the 300 lux that you, that, that, that you would like. And if anything changes in the future, you just go back, take your remote control, point it towards the high bay, and boom, you're back up to the 400 lux that you need. So basically, I hope that you got some value from this. The three things to avoid when buying LED high bays is low lumen per watt, bad uh, driver quality, and not adding sensors when you could benefit from it. We've added some links below in order to, to some articles that can explain you more. We've also added a link to the PS UFO Max that incorporates all of this. And we've added some more information about driver quality right underneath here. And please, if you wanna know more or if you've got any questions, reach out to us. We've got our contact details right underneath here. Phone numbers, emails, the whole shebang. So see you out there. Why do high quality companies like Caterpillar, Davis Turner, Heineken, Lidl, River Island, Zotafun, Gold Soccer, Gressingham Foods, Warner, GKN Aerospace, and the Royal Mint prefer LED lights from Polaris Light? Polaris will get your LED light project done right. For more information, visit www.polarislight.com or contact us on 0208 133 2554.